Hmm. Man, I just uh, staring at this blank page. I just don't. I just don't know where to start. and welcome to another episode of the five minute masterclass for character design and in today's episode we're actually starting to get into some of the things that you have to do before you start drawing now granted you could draw and most people do scribble and put out some ideas first but once you really really get down to it you're gonna have to do these things first in order to make sure that you have a strong character all right so with that said why don't we go ahead and get started so what is it that you have to do before you're supposed to actually do your character design what is it that it's that is needed and the answer to that question is story that's right story story is going to be the thing that you have to do before you really start getting into drawing your character design. Why is that? Because story is the key. It's the center point to anything. <laughs> when it comes to an actual story, clearly you need the backstory and the overall story in order to make sense of anything. And then when it comes to character design, every character has a story. And the more story that you have, the better your character is going to be well-rounded because if you are just drawing and you're like oh look this is really fun i've made these characters aren't they awesome you're like yeah what are they about what do they do what is their motivation and stuff like that but that when we dive deep into the story of your character is going to be in a couple episodes later but right now i want to make it so that you guys can have a great start so that you can actually start fleshing out a little bit of the world as well as who are the important players so that you can actually place your characters within the overall story and then develop the story for your characters as well so what are you going to need to get started you need the five W's. That's right, the five W's. Do you know what the five W's are? <laughs> That's right, it's who, what, when, where, and why. Those five questions will allow you to get started. They will allow you to lay down the very bare bones foundation of what you need in order to start developing a great character. So first things first who who are the major players so you can break this down into two different things it's like either you're going to go who are the main players who is the protagonist the antagonist you know who are the people who are going to be the most important for your overall story right or if you want to break down into the character itself you go well who is this character and you give us the basics height weight age characteristics anything really really quick about the character that you can give us so that we can visually or kind of visually understand who this character is going to be what what is going on okay so if you are developing the world for your character to sit in what is going on or for your character itself what does this character do okay what is their occupation very simple questions for you to answer but you need to have them nonetheless when is going to be a very important part for your character so what time in history does this character exist and the reason why you need to know when is because it's going to affect their outerwear as well as how they talk how they you know cut their hair probably how they walk it's going to affect everything so that time is very important when is this character alive when does the story take place okay same thing as where where does it take place and because if you have a character who is in the antarctic their clothing and the way that they live and the way that they act is going to be completely different than someone who lives in hawaii okay so you need to know where the story is going to take place where does their story take place it's very very important that you actually get that kind of information down because it will affect how you have to draw your character okay and then why 
why are they doing what they do? Why is this person important? Why are they on this quest? Put down a couple key points of information that you will have so that you can go, oh, well, this is why they do that. This is why they wear these clothes. This is why they're on this quest. You know, just a quick summary of why they do what they do, okay? And not necessarily why are they a grocery salesman, <laughs> But if that's part of the story, if that's your story for your character, then fine, why do they do that? But if they're a superhero, why do they do that? Okay, why do they have superpowers? Why are they trying to avenge something? Why, okay? And the more times you can ask why, the better and more robust your character design is gonna be. And so you're definitely gonna to wanna to ask these questions because if you can answer these five W questions, I guarantee you your character will be well on its way to being great and well-rounded. All right, so that was a very quick very, very quick uh, bit of information on how you can get your foundation started. It's actually key to you starting with those five W's. You can go to your computer and write down literally who, what, when, where, and why, and just answer those questions. Because once you start answering those questions, you will be able to literally start on your character and it will start defining themselves a little bit more, right? So your character will be like, no, I'm not, I'm not supposed to have that because you said I live in the Antarctic. So having shorts isn't necessarily going to work unless, unless in the why you explain to us why they would do that. See how that starts connecting. So there you go. That's the five W's. That's the foundation of your character design. And you know what? Since we are now four episodes in, it is time for some homework. That's right, I said homework. What I challenge you to do right here, right now, is to do the five W's. Answer the five W's, okay? I really do believe that if you actually start doing this, you will see your characters jump leaps and bounds, and it's going to be fantastic. Follow me on this journey do the homework and I guarantee you, you're gonna see some mass improvements for your characters, okay? So, do the five W's. I'm going to link you to my, I'm gonna link you to my Discord and there's going to be a channel there that says five minute masterclass, okay? Put your stuff there. Let's see it, let's build your character design together and yeah, let's see where all this goes and how we can make your character design better. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it or gleaned some type of information that is gonna help you with your character design. If you did enjoy this video, please like and share it. And if you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you are notified exactly when new content comes out. If you have any type of comments that you would like me to answer, or if you have any questions about character design, please put it in the comments below and I will get to that immediately. Thank you guys so very much and I will see you at the next video.